Hello, word munchers. And the story I have for you today was the runners-up in the 12 to 18-year-old category. It's called The War by Alita Slade, who's 12. There were many wars throughout time, but this one had to be the biggest. The war between the bears and the bees. Not actual bears and bees, of course. They were people called bees, kind-hearted and lovely people. And then there were people called bears, horrible, mean, vicious people. They didn't care about anyone except themselves. They lived on a world called honey. Bears and bees shared the little world, but all the towns either had bears or bees, never both. Honey was a small planet with a population of 6,098 people. It was near Earth, the human planet, but they didn't know there were people on the honey planet, but I bet they're gonna find out soon. The reason the bees and bears hated each other was because the bees always tried to be nice to the bears ever since people were born on honey. The planet, not actually honey. But the bears were just mean and insulted the bees a lot, so the bees gave up and retaliated. They were so completely different people, that's why they hated each other. But as time went along, it got worse. And one day, there was a war. A war that killed millions, hurt thousands, but still many survived. The snow fell from the sky, dancing gracefully in the wind. The night was ghostly, not a soul to be found or a mouse to be heard. The night was silent. It was a perfect night to attack. The bears sent out warnings and threats, but the bees ignored it, thinking it was nothing. The bears even tried to go to the bees and tell them, but the bees still denied it. Finally, the bears had enough. They were going to attack tonight. They got their weapons. They got their armies. Tonight is the night. The bears growled and chanted. Thou shall not win, as they marched through the forest. They knew they were going to win. The bees heard the bears chanting, and it made them mad. One thing you should know about the bees, don't make them mad. The bees were furious. They got their armies, they lit fires, nothing could stop them. By this time, the bears were already on the battlefield in formation. They were confident and knew they were going to win, but they weren't ready. They didn't have the most important thing a battle needs. They forgot to have a plan. The bees, on the other hand, were ready. The cavalry were in place. The cannons were loaded. The fires were lit. And most importantly, the bees were in formation. The battle was going to be bloody. The bees marched out, furious but ready. The bears saw them and started to lack confidence but stayed strong. Who was going to win? The odds and evens were equal. Now whoever won would only have pure luck. The bears chanted. Thou shall not win, thou shall not win. The bears carried on. Thy shall win the sweet honey taste of victory. The bees didn't seem scared at all, so they shouted. Thou think thou shalt win, but thou doesn't realize the advantage thy has. The bears were losing confidence fast, but they didn't back down, not yet at least. Everyone was in formation. The battle was starting. The battlefield was massive, over 30 foot long and wide. Some of the bees and bears didn't want this battle, so they scurried back into their houses with their children in front of them. Some children wanted to watch the battle, amazed with the armor and swords, but some children just wanted to hide. Either way, 
all of the children were put inside. Get out your swords! Tiger, the leader bear shouted. Kylon, the leader of the bees, giggled sarcastically and not caring. Let's make a deal. If thou wins the battle, then thy will leave and go to earth. But if thy wins, thou hast to stop these silly little insults. Kylon shouted as loud as his voice could go. Deal? Tyka replied and ran at Kylon with his sword ready to attack. Kylon grabbed his bow and arrow and shot arrows at Tyka, but Tyka dodged all of them, laughing manically. <laughs> Kylon's men ran at Tyka, trying to slay him, but all failed and lost their lives or got injured to the point that they wouldn't be able to heal. Kylon realised this and ordered his men to attack. As they did so, Tyka reached Kylon and they got into a massive sword fight. Fight me! Come on, you know you want to! Tyka tried to tempt Kylon, but he wasn't phased. Kylon didn't want to hurt Tyka. He wasn't like that. But Tyka was too hungry for power and would kill for it. The battlefield had become a bloody mess. Lifeless bodies laid all around it. What went from 4,078 people in the battle had already become 2,564 in nine hours and more deaths were happening by the minute until there was only 608 people left on the battlefield. 204 bears, 404 bees. Tyka and Kylon stood face to face. This is wrong. No human, no planet should have this badness of rivalry. So many people have lost their lives in this battle. We need to stop this now and live in peace like friends, not enemies. Kylon said, his voice soft but weak as he spoke. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my fault. All the people that have lost their lives and all the people who have now lost relatives, brothers, sisters, children and even lovers. It was because of me. Tyka felt like he was drowning in his thoughts. It was both of us. I should never have retaliated. Kylon replied, feeling sorry. Bears, Tyka shouted to his army. We shall respect and honour the people who lost their lives tonight and there shall be no more rivalry with the bees, Tyka announced. So shall we, Kylon declared, as everyone cheered.